if I came back in a different life, I'd love to be someone that could eat whatever I want without putting on weight and one of those women where their partners just look at them and they drop their pants and oh, we're pregnant. Um, weren't even trying. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's just have a quick look at this. Hey, this is a really huge deal right now. Craziest, this is bigger than Christmas. This is bigger than actually getting into So You Think You Can Dance was like awesome. Getting into Big Brother was awesome, but this is, this is like, this is, maybe, this is big, this is bigger than that. Uh, so today I woke up and I was 20 weeks. I made it to 20 weeks pregnant. No one really knows I'm pregnant. I'm, feels weird saying that because I haven't really said it out loud. Um, I've got to make it to my 21 week scan and I've got to check that everything's okay. So if you're seeing this video, it means that I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, <laughs> it'll also be really nice to get some support behind me because I've done this all alone and um, it's been really, really tough. So like I can't, I kind of can't wait. Sorry, I'm a mess. <laughs> I kind of can't wait to announce and then just make it feel a little bit more real. <laughs> let's make this one a real bruiser. Hell, let's, even if it bleeds, who cares? Um, let's go out with a bang. So I'm gonna go get into my room and go get the last injection. And then I might show you guys how many injections there's been. There, there has been. Actually, I don't even have all of them. So I'll just show you a, a portion of, of what I've gone through. But let's do this last injection together, okay? I've got to hold my boobs because they've got so heavy and big, so. One second, I just want to show you guys something, okay? Just wait, wait for this. By the way, this big one here is actually your, not your trigger shot, it was mine, but these ones are the trigger shots. These are the ones that like make you ovulate in 36 hours. I just think I might have to do all this again another day let's not even think about that let's just try to think about making it through each week ah, i look i look like a hot mess i tried to fix the lighting but it's just really hot yeah i just i'll show you let's just face it this this is what reality looks like so I've never shown anyone all of this. This, is, this isn't this is even all of my tests. Obviously, you can't keep all that. I can't even begin to imagine how much all of this has cost. Um, I don't know why I didn't write to these companies and try to get a sponsorship. They don't because that's how they make their money. These companies make a lot of money from people in like struggling to conceive. The majority of people probably won't buy hardly any of this stuff because a lot of people fall pregnant when they're not even trying by accident or it happens within the first few months. Um, yeah, so some people, their husbands look at them and they fall pregnant. You know what I mean? I wish I was one of those people. Uh, I'd love to be, if I came back in a different life, I'd love to be someone that could eat whatever I want without putting on weight and one of those women where their partners just look at them and they drop their pants and oh we're pregnant weren't even trying um anyway <laughs> let's just have a quick look at this crazy shit that's been my life this is actually messed up like like this is where all my sanity has gone. Good morning. Okay, no makeup. I've got a headband on. This means business. It is Sunday. I finally got some sleep. I've been absolutely exhausted. Um, 
Okay, so the baby like moves around and kicks at like normally. Yeah, there's my reflection in the mirror. We'll go to that in a minute. I'll show you my stomach at like one o'clock in the morning. So stupid me was like wanting to wait up till one o'clock in the morning to feel it because I was like, is it still alive? What's going on? Is it still okay? Infertility will make you stress like that. Uh, okay, what are we doing today? Whoa, that's really right. Okay, it's things are hectic. Life, life is hectic. I am pregnant. I have to move home. I finally managed. I put an offer in on a house. I got the house, but didn't have the loan approved. It's been really hard because my business closed. Oh, this is really bad lighting. Let's, we've got stuff to do. My business closed last year due to, you guys know why. I don't want to say the word because already it's, you know, I don't want to get algorithms and censored and all that stuff. So let's just not even talk about that. But yeah, I think, I think a lot of us got affected by that. And I had to put my mortgage um, on hold in this house here, obviously for six months. Um, I think a lot of us did. And then the banks penalized us for it and it made it really hard for me to get a loan. Anyway, I am 20 weeks pregnant. I, I have to move house soon. Um, I've got a paint, I got a bed off marketplace. I'll show you I'm transforming that. I woken up with a, an epiphany this morning that I'm gonna do a different carpet color upstairs in the new place. Uh, I was gonna do like a dark gray, dark charcoal, always wanted that and then everything, something clicked and I saw uh, another option and I was like, I'm like, I just feel so much, I can't believe it's just opened up so many options now. So I won't show, the, show you the color just yet. I'm gonna show you the before and the after. This place here, my beautiful home that I love, my first home is a mess, but I'm like, I've just, I've gotta start packing. I've gotta start cleaning and packing and finish painting here because that's part of the rules that I, when I hand the house over. So it's not real, it's kind of chaos here. Yeah, all right, in the midst of all this, let's show you my, I've got paint, I've got painting clothes on by the way. I will show you my stomach, okay. Let's have a little look at this, let me, okay, yeah, painting clothes. All right, hiding pregnancy and not hiding pregnancy. So I've got stuff to do, I've got, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm hustling. I'm just a hustler, guys. Like, I got a lot to do. Look at my dog down here. I'm trying to explain to her that, like, there's a baby in my stomach and she just doesn't get it. And I thought dogs were, like, meant to sense it. I love you. I love you, my girlfriend. I just love you, baby. I just love you so much. Oh, my gosh. Like, if, if I'm going to... I just think like, if I love her so much, like imagine what I'm gonna be like with a baby. Like I just, it, I love her, I love her that it hurt, like it hurts. When, when I went overseas and did my IVF, my first one in Bulgaria, the only reason I cried in five weeks was because I missed her. Yeah, it's just, I can't even imagine what it's gonna feel like to be a mother. Like I just can't, I just can't. Uh, I got some stuff to paint, okay, bye. Uh, I'm about to go. Things are hectic. I'll just give you a little update. I hate that I just walked to the letterbox and all the bills come at once. What is this? This looks like a bad one. You know when it's not marked with anything? <sighs> right. <laughs> See, I've got a dance studio and so I get all the bills. What have we got here? What is going on? Okay, I don't even know what the fuck that's for. So, quick update. So I'm just sitting in the car. I'm about to go. I've got. All right. So I've got. I got the house. 
So I've got the house. Um, I've booked in the painters. Well, first of all, I've booked them in. What do we got here? So, congratulate on the Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's one good bit of news. On behalf of the entire team at blah, 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 I would like to congratulate you on the purchase of your new home. All is now on track for your sediment on blah, 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 blah. Please note your keys will be available in our office 45 minutes after your set. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to... Okay, I'm going to have to push the painters back. That's getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, I've, maybe I've got a bit ahead of myself and I got the painters to come in, like, on the day I get the keys, but we have to wait for settlement and everything from the conveyancer from one house to the other to go over. I'm really confused anyway, but this is a really, oh, isn't this cute? And they put pictures of there and everything. This is good for the memories. Okay, I have already chosen the carpet. So I think this place was, I'm, I'm about to show you. Let's see, I'll put it all in the same video, the home stuff. I, I chose some, okay, so, all right, backtrack. I'm all over the place a little bit of makeup on so I don't look like I'm dying. Uh, I I think this place might have been a rental for a little bit because the carpet was pretty foul at the top. I'm just really big on putting in new carpet. Let me maybe turn the car off for a second. I'm really big on putting new carpet in if I was moving into a new place because I just think it's more hygienic, you're starting fresh, and this carpet looked pretty foul and I'm changing, paying a teeny bit extra and changing the underlay as well because, you know, there's a lot of dirt and dust and stuff that gets stuck in the underlay. This is literally as much as I, I do <laughs> with makeup. I don't really have to wear makeup that much any day because at the moment anymore, can't even talk properly because I just teach kids and Kids are just beautiful. They do not judge you on how you look, and it's just really good, actually. Um, even when you like feel like shit, like they'll they'll tell you you look beautiful. Bless. So the carpet, I've got, I've got two. I don't want to show you the exact color because I know you'll be like, "Ew, that's gross." I've got two samples here. I'm not going to flip them around. This one is. I'm just not sure. This one I definitely want, but yeah, it's what I'm just going to go with my gut. The color that I actually wanted, they didn't have in I'm talking like of course the color that I wanted was not there and there was like hundreds hundreds to choose from. Always away. All right, so the carpet, I'm getting um someone to come in and measure for the blinds. That will be good. I need some eyebrow gel. I can't handle. I want to try one of those eyebrow um, lamination things, but I just don't know if it'll be too hectic on my face. Okay, so someone's going to come in and measure and quote the blinds for me. I'm going to just do what I can afford to do. I have to stick to my budget. I definitely want to do downstairs, and then depending on how much it's going to cost, I will then decide if I'm going to do upstairs as well. One of the rooms is just going to be like a storeroom, clothes, uh, bits and pieces, so I probably won't get curtains done in there. You guys will never have to see in there. Right now, I'm going to head to the shops because I have attacked my boobs. Like, my boobs have continued to grow and grow and grow. Now, I've had a lot of bullying from ex-boyfriends over my Instagram and my photos and having real natural boobs and uh, the criticism, it's the truth. They have continuously bullied me about my posts. Now, I've got natural boobs already probably sit at about a double D E. Uh, it depends. Like if I lose a lot of weight, they go down. But anyway, so they're about uh, an E and they've continued to grow so much that they're itchy. I have attacked them. I have scratch marks all over them. My skin is itchy because I think my skin is trying to grow. I'm going to have the worst stretch marks on my boobs after all this. They're going to be like, I'm so glad I took all those photos that I got bullied about on my Instagram. 
and these people pretended that they didn't but they really did give me hell about it but you know what I'm proud of those photos that I've taken and the videos and showing my body because my boobs are never going to look the same I have literally ruined them um, but I went to a G cup at the beginning of the pregnancy and now I no longer fit it and I'm spilling over the top and I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this. I think it's time to get a maternity bra because I just can't, like I'm just overflowing and I just, I don't know what to do. It's time for a new bra. I need to go get to the shops. I'm gonna buy some snacks. I have to get to the shops. I need to get this bra before I start teaching tonight because I, I'm literally strangling them in the G cup. Like I'm take the bra off and the imprints of all the seams of the bra is like in my boobs. So I need a new bra before teaching. So it's going to be daggy. It's going to be, it's going to look foul, but I just need support in all areas of my life, not just my boobs. All right, let's go. I'm in a rush. I'm running late and let's get this going. All right, guys, I will check back in with you later, whenever, whenever I can. Okay, bye. Hey. All right, this bra situation just got really, really crazy. I've got to teach class in a second, and I'm going to talk about this before anyone comes in. All right, story short, go straight into Myers. They've got two, actually, they've got one maternity bra there. It was just like in two different ugly colors. Tried it on, just wasn't just wasn't quite happy. Like just one out of all the bra section. Then I go into a maternity like bra shop that had they had one that didn't even fit me, and then another one that didn't even fit nothing. Go to bras and things. I tell her my size, and she goes, "Oh, oh no, we don't have that size. You want to go try this store?" So I go to this store. It was actually really good and I didn't even know that they were there and I can't believe I didn't know but they have my issue is like I've got a small back it's the only thing that's small on my body the small like my rib part and then I have a really wide cup size anyway so I'm trying on like the 12 maybe C D E F G H H the 12 H and she's like you're really a 10 in the back so she brings back this other bra and where is it? Wait. I had to get it. And I try it on and I'm like, this one's actually really good. What size is this? This is so crazy. It's like big enough to fit on my head. Like it fits my head. Like you guys just don't realize how good I am at hiding these things so it doesn't look inappropriate. All right, she tells me the size. It's a 10J. J, letter J, the letter J for, J for Jack, J for job, J for job seeker. <laughs> like me, and I got it. Um, it's absolutely, crazy. I don't even want to show you because I'm actually a little bit embarrassed about it. But I've got class soon so it's time to get this bad boy on and um, let's see how we go. Jumping up and down. Okay. Bye. car trip but I'm gonna go get the keys to my place today it is gonna be like a huge job but I've got one week to move all my stuff across before settlement Oh, 
I'm waiting for some um, stretch, proper stretch mark stuff. You can't lick my stomach. Come over here so everyone can see you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. You like coconut oil, don't you? Here, baby. No. Look, the baby. Kiss the baby. Baby. Okay, that's kind of gross. <laughs> Some magnesium because my muscles are—you can't even see my face. Sorry, it's probably—it's probably good. I'm gonna have some magnesium because I'm um just my my muscles, my back's really sore. So, all right, I'm gonna take this coffee in the car. And yes, I'm having a coffee, just one coffee in the morning. Don't judge me. I've cut enough things from my life to get pregnant, so I can have a coffee in the morning. Let's get these, let's go get these freaking keys. Oh, it's gonna be a big day, but like a good one, a good one. I feel really bloated though. <laughs> like, oh, just feeling a bit uncomfortable. Let's go get these keys, bye. Um, got the keys and I got the can't drink wine but it just makes it feel real got the box with the wine and the glasses so yeah and I'm running late so um, I can't believe this I cannot believe this I only went to this place once and I saw it and I was like yep yeah, this is it let's do this then I had to rush off to a staff meeting and like I've only been there once so I always go on like I make my biggest decisions on like gut instinct and like yeah all right I'm <laughs> I can't believe this all right all right so it's like the shittest weather outside today I have been moving house I'm waiting for the truck to come let me stop this from moving I'm waiting for the truck to come and my whole house has fit into a truck. Well, almost all of it. Ah! <laughs> Done a good yep. job, you guys. I've got like a ton of car loads to do after this. Yeah, I can't think of... I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why anyone would want to vlog this shit because it's so stressful. It's... Oh my gosh. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm 25 weeks pregnant and... I'm having rapid weight gain at the moment, like, and I didn't get much sleep. Um, but, oh, guys, like, it's not, this isn't, maybe the people that vlog this and they're like, oh, moving vlog, like, candy canes and fairy floss, it's because they've got partners and they're doing it with people, whereas, like, I'm doing this on my own and this is, this is hard, okay? Uh, I gotta go because hopefully this truck Oh, they're here. Okay. All right. Bye. Good morning. I'm like curled into a ball here because my pregnancy pillow is like in a shape of like an L here. And I'm going to leave it there because it's just easier. <sighs> Guys. So I slept my first night in the new house. But oh, I'm just going to be totally real. So at the moment, I'm sleeping downstairs and because I'm not allowed to do painting or carpet until settlement. So I'm renting it a week earlier because I need to get my old place um, ready for handover of the keys. My teacher, one of my staff members said that they can cover my classes tonight. So I'm so relieved. Like, I'm just going to do car loads tonight. I've got to clean Oh, that's my alarm going off. And I'll go in and I'll still have to go clean the floors at the studio, but that's all right. So I feel a little bit relieved because on top of this, I've got all these emails to do. Poppy, honey, you can't breathe that loud. Sorry, that's my dog breathing in, in, in the back. She's breathing really loudly. I had the worst sleep last night. I'm not going to show you guys the place now because I'm waiting for the couch to come. I've got the mattresses set up on the floor down here in the living area. I've got heaps of car loads to do. 
Luckily the garage is like packed up with all stuff because I can't put any furniture upstairs. So I just had the worst sleep. I had the worst insomnia. I realized, and then I realized that I was in my last house, which I'm still packing up now, for eight years. And that's the longest I've ever been in a house for my whole life. Because as a kid, um, my mum was a single mum for most of my growing up and we were moving rentals all the time and we, we had one house we owned, but my stepdad uh, was gambling the mortgage payments and my mum didn't know because back then we didn't have the internet, internet didn't even exist. Um, and so we got kicked out of that house within 48 hours and we didn't know. So that was the only house we ever owned. So we've always rented and just moved from house to house to house. So I was really set on after, as soon as I, I was able to work, left, uh, finished school 17, I just worked and worked and worked because I just wanted to save for a house deposit because all I wanted, rather than most people traveled and I didn't do the traveling thing. I just wanted to work and work and work and save and I wanted to buy a house because I just craved having a home and then not moving. And then obviously um, I did a lot of moving around myself after, um, yeah, I'm um, like renting and then having a dog's really hard with renting because you, you need, so it's just hard to find rentals when you've got a dog. I think the rules have changed a little bit now um, and it's a bit more relaxed, but it was very hard to get approved for rentals when you've got a dog. Yeah, I just, I've realized my old house, like, the, the strange part is, it's like, this, I don't have the big backyard, this is going to be a better home for me and my baby, like, I think it's quieter, maybe it's a little bit safer as well, and, but, I come to realize, so my other house, like, it is older, and it was so much older, but I realized it's not about the house, it's about the lifestyle that you have. And so whilst I've, whilst I've been feeling sad, I realized that I'm gonna create a really good lifestyle here too. I think I had a good routine. My kitchen there was old, but it was bright and white, and I had my morning set up. I'd get up and I'd, you know, I'd drink, I have my vitamins and my lemon water, and it was, make my coffee and set up and do my emails and I just had a good setup there so I think whilst I've been feeling sad I've just got to tell myself that I'm going to create a great lifestyle here as well and that's regardless of the house and you know the size and what it looks like um, yeah so it's just that and yeah I was in that house for I'm not afraid of change but it was not glamorous at all it was on the side of a freeway and there was road noise but yeah it was home it was really home and so I'm not afraid of change uh, I am adaptable but I just couldn't sleep last night because it's like your body does become so used to your routine so it's gonna be a big shake up and I know that I will make this great I know that I will make it home I will set up some beautiful plants and make it really have a good feel and a healthy lifestyle um, it's hard I'm just in a transition phase but yeah worse freaking sleep <laughs> I mean the baby was going off its head last night in my stomach so that it kind of kept me up, but I'm ha like, I'm always happy when it's like kicking around and stuff. So yeah. All right. Well, I think the couch is coming. I don't know. I think I'm going to get the couch to come tomorrow. It's just like moving. I just wish they had have let me paint and do the carpet whilst I was renting it. They wouldn't let me. So fair enough, whatever. All right, first morning in the house. Last night I didn't film, but last night was actually a really cute night because my dog came here for the first night. Her bed's down there. 
I made our first dinner. We had organic burgers. Yeah, and I think there's always a really nice feel about having your first dinner in your new house. Uh, I can't even get the hot water service. I don't really have, I think there's solar hot water running. I need to knock on the neighbor's door and find out how to light this hot water service. So I think the water that's coming through is like lukewarm from the solar heating. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this coffee and I get in the car and start doing car loads. Like I just, it's amazing how much shit you accumulate when you've been in the one house <laughs> for so long. I've thrown out a lot of stuff. It's really hard now because I'm pregnant and I've got so many clothes that are like my skinny clothes. They're not even like my skinny clothes. Like most of all my stuff I don't fit into now. So I'm just lugging around all these clothes that I can't wear. So all right, I will check back in with you guys later.